In My Place for Parts, the results of any search are displayed in the Parts Display box. This is true whether the search was done from the Vehicle and Part Quick Find box, the Supplies, Accessories, and Tools box, the Interchange box, or the Part Number Inquiry box. The header of the Parts Display box is color-coded to help identify which type of search results it contains. The Parts Display box is used to display the price and availability of the items in your local store or other locations such as secondary stores or warehouses. Clicking on the Item Description column header will sort the list by item description. Clicking on the descriptions that are blue and underlined will display a picture of the item. The total number of items found is displayed to the right of the item description column header. The image column will display a small thumbnail image of the item when a thumbnail is available. Clicking on the item number column header will sort the list by the item number. In addition to the item number, this column displays the store's line code for each item. Results for the application searches will show the vehicle year range that the item fits. Clicking the Brand column header will sort the list by brand. Brand logos are displayed in this column when available. Clicking on a brand logo will display links to that vendor's website. Initially, the Cost column will display your cost. If cost is unavailable, it will display Call for Price. Clicking on the Cost header once will hide the cost from view. Clicking the header a second time will change the column header to Code and display your cost with the digits inverted and the decimal removed. Clicking the header a third time will return to the display of your cost. The list column displays the manufacturer's recommended list price. The quantity column defaults to the per vehicle or application quantity for the item. To change this quantity, type the desired number in the box and click the blue refresh button, which will recheck price and availability. The cart column will initially contain a cart button for each item. Clicking on this button will add the selected item to your cart and change the button to a check mark. Clicking on the check mark will remove the item from your cart. Clicking on the green plus sign to the right will add or remove all items in the list to your cart. The list column contains a blue list button for each item. Clicking on this button will add the selected item to one of your custom lists. See the two minute tutorial that covers lists for more information on this feature. The availability column shows the availability for each item in the locations available to you. Depending on how your store is set up, this column may show quantity, location, or estimated delivery time information. If you have more than one buying location available, clicking on the down arrow will show availability at alternate locations. Selecting these alternate locations will flag that item to be ordered from the alternate location if it is added to your cart. Where availability is zero in all locations, the availability box will be highlighted in yellow. My Place for Parts will allow you to order an item even if it is not available, but you are encouraged to call the store for a delivery time estimate on out-of-stock items.